Hi, and welcome to Healthy Life Hacks. I'm Jennifer Jeffries, the present day wise woman. I'm a realistic naturopath coming to you from the surfing beaches of Australia. This show is for those of you who are wanting to really rock your life and rock your health and just live from a place of prevention, not waiting to get sick and tired and sucky. That's it. So let's get into today's episode. Have you ever wondered, have you ever wondered what is the difference with all of the different sugars that are out there on the market? Well, tonight I'm going to jump in here and I'm going to teach you the bottom line of what all the different sugars are. You ready? Let's go. We're going to start with stevia. Now, stevia is one of the most common new healthy sugars that's around the place. And as much as it's considered safe when used as a sweetener, it, it, you know, people love it because it's so, well, it's actually hundreds, I was going to say so many times sweeter. It's actually hundreds of times sweeter and basically has no calories. Well, so everyone goes, wow, that's, that's really cool. And so people uh, class it as natural because it comes from what's called the sweet leaf plant. Okay. Now, sweet leaf is part of the Asteraceae family, which is kind of like the daisy family. And I've grown it here on the Gold Coast. It grows easy. It's a really attractive tree, but it's known to be grown like most extensively through things like, you know, your New Mexico's and the Arizona's, like those hot, dry kind of places, Texas, Paraguay, uh, Brazil. And they've been traditionally used there. The, the plant has been traditionally used there for so long as a natural sweetener. And it's about 300 times sweeter than sugar. And you go, yay, that's so good. That's a really good alternative. <clears throat> However, the problem is, and I saw this recently, not recently, which is all part of, yeah, recently, in this year, uh, which is all part of why I'm talking about this on this, on this um, podcast, is that I saw on, a, I like to just look in the supermarkets and see what's out there. And I, I saw the section on sweeteners and I saw Steve and I went, fantastic, sweet leaf. I was really excited. Picked up the container. And, uh, and was reading it and it said it was from um, corn. And I went, corn, it's stevia. It's meant to be sweet leaf. The sweet leaf plant, extract it, blah, and now you've got stevia. That's it. That's what it's meant to be. However, the, no, 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 no. They're cheating. Yeah, they are. They're cheating. What they're doing nowadays is because of the laws, the way they're allowed to say stuff, Read the packet, guys, read the packet, because the majority of them out there are like 99.8%, I swear, 99.8%, the one I looked at, erythrol, which is uh, a fermented sugar that's made from GMO corn, genetically modified corn. Not good. They put in a little pinch of steviocide, you can't even say it, it's that hard to do, it shouldn't be done like that, steviocide powder, and they can call it stevia. Guys, not cool. Um, the laws are not have not caught up with this kind of product yet. Read your packet. If you're eating stevia and it's got corn in it, toss it. Find the real stevia, which comes from the sweet leaf plant. Not cool, way too common, just not good. All right, so that was stevia. Let's go to xylitol. This is the one that's mostly in all your sugar, your, your sugar-free kind of chewing gums and all those things. And you think, yeah. It's really popular because it doesn't spike blood sugar levels. That's really good, or insulin. And they say that it, it starves that plaque producing bacteria in your mouth, which is why they're using it in chewing gums because they're saying you can chew and you're, you're cleaning your teeth at the same time because you're not getting all the, the bad bacteria stuff happening in your mouth. You're kind of starving those bad bacteria, which changes the pH and then you know rots your teeth, blah, blah, blah. But as much as xylitol is a naturally found sugar, well, sugar alcohol in plants, that's really good. And in fact, in most fruit and veggies, um, they're being tricky again. Again, like the stevia, they're being tricky. So what they're doing with it, as much as they, they're chucking it all your, your sugar-free lollies and sugar-free chewing gum and sugar-free mints and all those kind of things, what they're doing is they're substituting the xylitol for sorbitol. Now, sorbitol is much, 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 much cheaper. And they're using that in the sugarless gums and things because they can make it in commercial products cheaper. That's the bottom line. So what's sorbitol? Oh my gosh. So sorbitol is a, a, a sweetener that's synthetically extracted from glucose. 
And when they do it, when they make it, it is the nastiest shit, literally shit, on your digestive system. It works as a laxative by drawing the water out of your large intestine and it stimulates your bowel. It makes you want to poo. It's not good. So um, bloating and farting and cramping and all these other things. And again, there's, there's something that they'll be going, yeah, this is so good and it won't rot your teeth and it's all wonderful and it's a good natural sugar. And then they substitute it with something else that's bloody cheaper and just screws with your body. I will not touch any sugar-free lollies or chewing gum or any of those kind of things. I just won't. It's not cool. All right, let's go to the next one. Let's talk about coconut sugar. I do a lot of time over in Thailand and they use coconut sugar in everything and it's so nice. Now, coconut sugar is really good because it's got a lower GI, a lower glycemic index than sugar. Sugar sits around 60 to 65. Coconut sugar sits around 35. Okay, and it's really cool because it doesn't spike your blood sugar levels. Really, really useful. Cool. Honey and agave syrup also have a low GI, but I'm going to talk about agave in a minute as well. <gasps> That's another story, but back to this one. So coconut sugar is good because it contains healthy fats that help prevent um, high cholesterol and heart disease. So you think, oh, tick, big tick. It also contains inulin, which is a type of fiber, dietary fiber, that helps to prevent colon cancer and, and it's good for balancing blood sugars. And you go, yeah, really, 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 really good. Cool. So it is. Coconut sugar is a good option, guys, and I'll use it in my cooking. There you go. And uh, The next one's maple syrup. So I, I love maple syrup. Oh, my gosh. Every time I go to Canada, I come home with maple syrup. Maple syrup is just so delicious. I love it very much. Now, maple syrup is uh, a less bad or a good version of sugar like coconut sugar is. So the basic ingredient of maple syrup comes from the sap of the sugar maple tree. Pretty simple, close to nature, that's everything that we want. And it mainly consists of things like sucrose and water. That's it. So it's actually really simple. And it's about as sweet as sugar is. One of the cool benefits of maple syrup is that it, it contains the antioxidants and the anti-inflammatory properties like green tea, which is also known as a superfood. So maple syrup does technically come into that superfood kind of category, which is really, really, really good. So imagine it's got health benefits like um, green tea, red wine, it's got some of those constituents as well as blueberries. So really, really cool. Now it's still a sugar. So you need to use it in moderation. That's my only comment. I love maple syrup, but use it in moderation. Let's talk about agave. That's the next one. So agave is um, just, it's becoming more and more and more popular. And in fact, my local Mexican restaurant I love to go to, they cook the, or they make the most amazing jalapeno poppers. I love chilies. I've talked about them on so many podcasts, but they drizzle them in agave syrup. And the, the taste is mind blowing, like mind blowing. You put chili with that kind of syrup, mind blowing. There's no words for us. It's like, oh my gosh. So it's one I've dug into a lot. And the bottom line is, because it just tastes so good, you go think, how can I make this thing taste so good? And is it good for you? And it's becoming more and more and more popular. It's that new kind of fad kind of sugar. The thing with agave syrup is it's much higher in fructose than plain sugar. Now, fructose close to nature is actually okay. However, there's research that shows when it's in this kind of form that it can lead to increased belly fat and fatty liver. So, hmm, not so good. It contains about 60 calories per tablespoon compared to about 48 calories for regular sugar sugar. But that's also because it's about one and a half times sweeter than sugar. So you can actually use a lot less of it, which is good. But nutritionally, if you analyze it, it's pretty similar to high fructose corn syrup, which is the crappiest sugar on the planet that they use in all your soft drinks. So... It's not so cool. It's becoming really fattish and popular, but it's, it's not cool. For me, you know, what is the best solution? What is the best sweetener that you can grab? I think the stevia is awesome, provided it's the real stevia from the sweet leaf plant. If you're using stevia, check out that it's not from corn. And then any other natural sugar that's close to, close to nature, as close to nature as you can. So maple syrup, coconut sugar, molasses, honey, um, are much better than regular kind of sugar and better than some of those others. So like I've said on all the podcasts, as close to nature as possible is the key to go with everything that we consume. 
the majority of the time, the world won't end for a little bit of something. But if you're doing it consistently, it's not cool, especially like you're chewing gum uh, every day and you're chewing the sugar-free gums. Guys, that, that's not cool. So close to nature, you can still you can still get PK chewing gum that's just got real sugar in it. Mm, seriously, I know what I'd be choosing, close to nature the majority of the time. Now, if you are someone who craves sweet, head back to episode 16 and have a listen in where I talk all about why you crave and how to get rid of sugar cravings. It's actually pretty boringly easy. Today, I wanna to leave you with three healthy life hacks. The first one is really important because stevia is so popular now. If you are using stevia, please check it's the real thing. That I like, please. And if it's got that it's a, a product of corn, have a look at the ingredients, really read the packaging, toss it. Go and get some real stevia. It's not worth compromising on that one. Healthy life hack number two is to go back to episode 16 and check out all the information on how to get rid of sugar cravings. And then healthy life hack number three is just close to nature, close to nature, close to nature, the majority of the time. Such an easy way to think of what foods to consume, close to nature, the majority of the time. Guys, if you would like to get a copy of the show notes, head over to www.healthylifehacks.com.au. And in the next episode, I'm going to be talking all about the power of yes and how I make my life of travel happen. I want to thank you for being here today. If you enjoyed this episode, feel free to share it with your friends and scroll down to the comment section, guys. It's below the description of the video because click into the line that says add a public comment, add your comment, click the comment box. And every month I draw one lucky person who leaves a comment down below to have a free one hour consultation with me. Also be sure to subscribe to the show so that and like it so that you're always catching that next episode. If you'd like to receive a free copy of my Feed Your Body ebook, simply click the link in the comments below, join my newsletter, and you will get the free ebook sent to you nice and easy. So I welcome your emails. You can write to me at podcast at healthylifehacks.com.au. Until next time, guys, remember that when it comes to life, live it, love it, and get on with it.